Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the campus of Shawan University and the Health Center, where tonight your hometown host will host Fayetteville State University in a CIAA crossover matchup. At this time, please rise and remove your caps for tonight's prayer and remain standing as we honor our nation with the playing of the national anthem. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the opportunity you have presented us tonight in bringing these teams, their families, and their friends together safely. May both play without injury and demonstrate good sportsmanship throughout the competition. Tonight's game and all things are possible through Christ. Amen. to you from Chowan University's Helm Center as Chowan gets back into CIAA play tonight and with a cross division matchup tonight with Fanville State. Gaddis Hodges with you going solo tonight. My partner Robert Burns home for the holidays uh, due to being a student here at Chowan. He bailed out here after exam so we'll be doing it solo here tonight but this is a game that features uh, well, but uh, Fayetteville State at three and three, Sean at five and four. This is Fayetteville State first conference matchup here tonight. But uh, for Chowan, it'll be the second after they won over Clapham here a couple weeks ago. Hawks come in off a win over UNC Pembroke 57-55 last week, despite only shooting two of 12 from the field in that fourth quarter for 28.8 percent. But then again, you look at that. Uh, Fayetteville State, they hadn't played since December the first, a long break for Coach Serena King Coleman's uh, team. They played UNC Wilmington in exhibition in all 72 54. But both teams forced 27 turnovers, so that's a pretty good defensive team that Coach. Coach Coleman brings here his her team forces 19.7 turnovers a game, so they really get after you, especially in the backcourt. And they feature a couple players who were CIAA preseason picks. Chantel Bennett, a 5'7 junior guard from out of Lee County down in Sanford, North Carolina. He came up to the six foot senior to transfer from Presbyterian out of Durham. So uh, first start tonight for Coleman's uh, King Coleman's uh, team in the cross division as far as the CIAA is concerned. Showing in that first matchup tonight. It'll be De'Ara Hewitt, Chantel Williams, Chantel Bennett, uh, Chinawindu, Magda Boonham, and Katisha Hyman for Federal State tonight. Choan will start Jada Lee, Mariah Coker, Danielle Weldon, Shakira Bagby, and Olivia Gator. We're starting to get underway here at Choan's Helm Center tonight. Hope you've uh, dialed in and join us for these next two games. Men to follow about 20 minutes after this one. The tap's going to be controlled by Federal State, and they get a back goal layup right out of the gate from Chantel Bennett. Good job as she got in the pass that time from Kanisha Hyman. And off right off the tip, Fayetteville State jumped on top two to nothing. You haven't played in in nearly two weeks, and that's a good way to start. Fayetteville State's going to start in the two-three zone. Gaze has got it on the corner, Olivia, and bounces it back out top to Jada Lee in the corner to Coker. Coker quickly with the basketball, kicks it back out to Lee. They go cross court to Gaither inside to Weldon with four to shoot. Gaither's going to launch up a three deep right corner, and it ripples for that. Good playmaking that time of the Hawks and some good patience, and they cut the 3-2 lead on Gaither's three-pointer from deep in the right corner just as the clock was about to expire. 
And so we're just about a minute in here in front of an empty house at the Helm Center. Here's a backdoor layup again, and this time it's going to be De'Ara Hewitt. So Choi's been burnt twice on the back door in two possessions here by Fayetteville State. The Broncos clad in all royal blue tonight, showing in the home whites trimmed in royal blue. Coker working out between the rings. She'll move to the left side of the floor. Choi leads this series 9-5, to five, and he won at Fayetteville State last year, 73-55. Here's Lee trying to work through the... Defense gets it inside the bank. She can't convert on the easy layup. It's tipped out of control. Right front by Bennett. Bennett will get it front court to the near side to Chantel Williams. Williams spins around Ryan Coco off the glass. A little strong, no good. Bagby with a clear off the glass for the Hawks. Off to Coco. Ryan moving front court. And Lee's got it right in front of the Fayetteville State bench. She tries to get it down inside the well, and it's knocked out of bounds by Katisha Hyman for Fayetteville State. So John will inbound his baseline left underneath their own bucket. Chawin down early here, 4-3 at home. The Fayetteville State Chawin in the midst of a four-game homestand here. It's the second game. We'll have Shaw here on Saturday and St. Aug here on Monday afternoon. Here's Bagby going in, trying to get it for the charge. Bagby picked up her first personal in the game's first person. She slammed underneath into Hyman, trying to go to the basket. The freshman from out of Portsmouth, Virginia, averaging 4.4 game for Chawin, trying to get inside and put Chawin out in front. Chuan's going to pressure full court. As Hyman will get it cross court over to Chantel Williams. She'll cut the double team back to Hyman on the far side. Hyman trying to go inside and against Coco. Toss it over in the corner. Here's Magna Beanham's jumping from along the baseline is good. Chi Chi, as they call him, Magna Beanham. And the lead for Fayetteville State goes to 6-3. to three. And here's the lead to get caught to Cohen in a double team. And she'll bounce it off the leg of Hyman and out of bounds. So it still belongs to the, the Hawks who are at home tonight on Bob Burt Court. Everybody but the athletes pretty much off the campers here at Chowan. Exams concluded on late Monday. Here's Weldon inside. Here's a shot block. They battle for the rebound. It's off the hands of Hyman. It'll belong to Chowan. That time Weldon trying to force it up between the triple team down in the low block. Like I said, Chowan student sank to the campus here late Monday, early Tuesday after finishing exams. They will not be back until about the second week in January. So you got to create your own excitement on nights like this when you have many people in the stands. And that's the way to do it. But Daniel Weldon turns inside and scores. Her first bucket of the night. Well, the leading score on this Hawks team at 14.3 a game. 6-5 lead. Fayetteville States have worked back the other way. Seven and a half minutes ago in the first period. Here in the start of this double hitter this afternoon. Or twilight, I should say, between Chowan and Fayetteville State. In the corner of the Hyman, she tried to move with it, traveled on the near side. That becomes her first turnover of the night for the Broncos, who averaged 19.7 a game. They forced 19.7, they averaged 19.7. So the Hawks will come front court against the token pressure in the back court from around a three-quarter court pressure, and Cook is going to break it easily. Chowan trying to take back the lead here. They trail 6-5. to five. As we're nearly three minutes into this one here, at Chowan's Helmson, I can tell you if you're listening nearby, there are plenty of good seats here in the Helmson tonight. Lee misses the jumper straight on from off the glass, and she's tied up underneath by Magna Beatum on the rebound. It'll belong to Chowan on the alternating possession. Coco to inbound. She'll kick it far side to Gaither. She's got a wide look on the three, and she missed it badly. But at a fall, it's going to be Coco. Mariah got good inside position on Hyman and got it back in and stuck it in to put Chowan back in front at 7-6. Goes <coughs> pass going down inside but recovered by Hewitt. She nearly lost it out of the bounds. Hyman for three and it won't go. Hewitt all along for the putback. Nobody put a body inside on the Riverside California Junior. The transfer from North Carolina Central and Hewitt's got her second field goal and it put the Broncos back in front at 8-7. Hey, Broncos have got a lot of good looks here early, especially on the back door. Here's Weldon trying to penetrate. Banks over in the corner to Coco with three. Mariah Burr is it from the corner. Coco quickly out of the game for five points in her three balls the first of the afternoon. Or the second of the afternoon for Chowan. Has gave the tips it in the backcourt, but recovered by Hyman. They'll get it far court. Here is Bennett inside to Hewitt, who's wide open again. She can't convert. Weldon off the glass with it for Chowan. Off to Coca. Coca streaming front court. Goes through the center jump circle. Together had a notion. Now she'll take it way away from the basket. She burst. Gaither's two for three now behind the arc. Chillon's got their biggest lead at 13 to 8. Early here from Chillon. Chillon trying to win for the 10th time in this 
15 game series between Fayetteville State and Chowan. Of course, the two teams will go in opposite directions next year, conference wise, as Chowan will move to Conference Carolina. Magna Boone trying to move it inside, gets it out to Bennett. She tries to answer with a three, won't go. Leaves there to claim it for Chowan. She'll push her front court to Bagby. Bagby trying to wheel inside. Fall away jumper off the glass, no good. Well, is there for the follow, and Chowan's got the lead now at 17 to 8. 15 to 8. And Coach King Coleman is asked for the timeout. And uh, The Chowan ladies with 5.14 to go in the first period had jumped out to a 15 to 8 lead. Back for more after this short timeout. Show on as the Hawks have jumped out in front here, 15 to 7 to start this one. Here's a pull-up jumper from Hyman from 15 feet away is good. Sierra Hyman's had a good start to this one. She's got six. Her season high is seven. And she's pulled the Broncos within five. Here's a steal in the backcourt and hitting front court and getting fouled on the layup. After the steal is going to be Brittany Drumgoole. And Drumgoole, the senior to transfer from out of NC State, had to steal and came front court. And the foul's going to be on Jada Lee after the turnover. So Drumgoole is just inserted in the ball game. She averages 10.6 a game. And she's an 82% free throw shooter on a 9 of 11 of the year. Free throw's on its way by the Kinston, North Carolina native. It's up and good. 15-11, 4.52 to go in the first period. Drungu will make both. As into the lineup now, it's going to be an, um, Amanita Johnson, a 6'4 sophomore from out of Durham, transferred from Highwood University. She's a leading scorer on this team and leading rebound at 12.1 points per game and 6.3 boards. Let's see if with the insertion of Drum Drungu in, inside, inside along with Johnson, let's see if Fayetteville State goes inside with their offense. Here's Gay, the right on the left wing, jumped on quicker by Drumgoole, and we got a foul out front. Did Drumgoole on the check hit the foul? Yes, she did. Going to be her first and the team first. So, Choi William Baines, baseline right. Coker looking to get it in. Looking, looking, finally gets it out front to Lee. Lee with the high above her head. That's inside, it goes to Well, and she got around. Johnson laid it up, couldn't get it to go, but she draws a foul underneath. And I think this could be whistled on Yakima Clifton, who's in the lineup, but it will be. Clifton, the preseason all CAA pick in the lineup now. That's a very tall and athletic group that coach Serena King Coleman, who's worked in her third year on the bench here at Fayetteville State, is inserted in the ballgame. Well, his left handed free throw is a little short. It's in front of the rim. Daniel this season has just hit 54% of her free, free, free throws. Easy to say. And it's early in the night. Whittle's left-handed free throw again. This one's good. Danielle with a third point of the night. Showing lead at forward, 16-12. As we're halfway home, a little, little bit over halfway home in this first period. We're going on the far side. It's going to be Bennett, the only starter left in the ballgame, along with Hewitt. Here's Hewitt out front. Works off a pick from Johnson. In the corner, it goes to Drumgoo. She lost the basketball. Jada Lee had it. Good hold. As she worked with... Bagby trying to take it away from Drum, Drumgoole and 
It goes off to Lee's out. Lee got a bounce. So Joanne can't convert on the turnover. Can't hold it on the potential turnover. Drum Gould will inbound it. And she gives it to Hewitt. He got by Coke and lays it up and in. Nice set play as Hewitt's got her season high with eight. And behind Hewitt shooting, Fayetteville State has raced that seven-point deficit down to two, 16-14. Gave the looking inside. Now can't get it to Weldon, but she gets it to Lee at the high post. Lee working against Katala Johnson. One hands it off the glass. No good. Weldon's got the offensive board. She'll kick it back to Gaylin. Sean's got a fresh 30 seconds. Here's Bagby trying to work inside against Johnson. Now up to Coker for three, and she got it. Three. Mariah Cook already with 10 points in this one. And she did not score last year in that game against Fayetteville State. And the game that Sean won 73-55. Here's a jumper from right on the left. It misses badly, but Johnson's there to put it back in. She got fouled on the play. Shot was missed badly by Clifton out on the left. But Johnson just went right to the glass and got inside of Chowan. Players and as the foul's going to be whistled on Daniel Willen's going to be a first, and Chowan is inserted a new player in the lineup. Let's see if I have her on my – it's going to be a Talea – Delena Green is going to make her first appearance. Also in the lineup, Kayla Henderson and Joanne Williams for Chowan. And the three-point play is good by Johnson. Here's Chowan back the other way with it, trying to add his two-point lead. Joanne Williams, a run off the left side, no good. Rebounded underneath by Drumgoole. Drum drew a move in front court against pressure. Goops it over in the corner to Hewitt and threw it overhead for the turnover. So, Hewitt will come out of the lineup now for the Broncos, and good Chantel Williams will get back in as Coker maneuvers at front court now back in the 2 3 zone of the Broncos. Coker with it out front now to Henderson. Henderson loops it inside, trying to get it to. To Lee, and it's knocked away by Johnson for the turnover. Drum has got it. Goes inside. Layup's missed inside. And there's Green with a rebound for Chowan. Her first official stat is Talena Green on the rebound. She has missed the first six games, but or the first nine games, but in the lineup here after the semester break. Here's Williams with it in the corners, knocked out of her hands and out of bounds. Here the near side by Yakima Clifton. And back to the bench goes Coach Coleman, and she'll insert Nikki McCaskill in the lineup. I believe that's who it is. No, correction, it's going to be Michelle Ganey in the lineup. Of course, she played for her mom up at Rocky Mount High School. And her dad, also the men's basketball coach and athletic director of Rocky Mount High School, and her brother, assistant coach down at the Prince School. Here's Green inside, had a shot blocked by Johnson, recovered by Lee. Jada's jumper from 18 feet, no good. Rebounded underneath by Chantel Williams, and Fayetteville State's got a chance to tie on a trip down the floor, take the lead with a tray. Drum Ghoul trying to go inside, she's fouled out front. Foul's going to be on Kayla Henderson. It's going to be her first and a team fourth here for Chowan. And that's going to put Drum Ghoul at the free throw line. But she's an 82% free throw, 9 of 11. And the free throw is good by Drum Ghoul. And she makes the second. She used all that orange rim, to, real estate on that rim, to gather in the free throw. And Fayetteville State, which is was down seven, now is tied it at 19 with about 54 to go in the in the first period. Kayla Henderson out on the right, gets it to Green, who's double teamed along the baseline. She gave it away to Lee. Her fall away jump along the baseline was a little short, but she got fouled on the play, and let's see, it might be Clifton again. And the foul is going to be whistled on Michelle Gady, I believe. That's their first and the team third, and it's going to put J.D. Lee at the line, shooting a couple of free throws. Lee's free throw, and it's up and good. That'll give Chowan the lead back at 20-19. to 19. That's Lee's first point of the afternoon. He's coming in from um, playing a, having a career-high 17 points in that win over UNCP last week. And she'll knock down both. Does a senior from out of Virginia Beach. Chowan back in front, 21-19. 
Keeney will hand it away out front to Chantel Williams, a transfer from South Carolina State. Near side, it comes back to Ganey. Ganey working against Joanne Williams, trying to go back door to Clifton, knocked away by Coker, and saved, or nearly saved by Clifton. And the turnover gives it back to Joanne. Third turnover here by Fayetteville State in this first period. A correction, that's their fourth. Fayetteville State's got back in this in this thing with some good shooting here late in the period. They treat 53.8% for the ball game. Show on 43.8. Coker right front trying to maneuver on drum goal. Here's Lee with a rare three and it won't go. Rebounded underneath by Yakima Clifton. Clifton will move it front court on the near side to Williams. Williams in the corner to Ganey. Ganey slams into Lee and gets called for the charge. Michelle Ganey looked like she lost a balance and turned to her right because she did. She slammed in the lead. He's a little shaken up here. And she's still on the floor in the training stand from Choi. Got to come out and attend to Jada. Let's hope she's going to be okay. Also, Latoya Jones, the head coach here with the Hawks, going to come out and kind of take a look at her and see if she can help her senior guard from out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Remember, it's a double hitter tonight here on GoSeeYouHawks.com. We'll have the men against Fayetteville State men after this one. We'll talk about a 20-minute break in between games and come back and see if the Choi men can stay undefeated. But it's never easy in the CIAA. I can promise you it won't be easy tonight, even though Fayetteville State has struggled somewhat on the men's side at 1-5 coming tonight. But you never know in the CIAA, especially when it gets to conference play, and Fayetteville State's played a pretty good non-league schedule. We'll see what the Hawks can do tonight. It'll be interesting to see if Jadarian Wade's going to be available for the Hawks tonight as Lee gets up and limps over to the bench. I can tell you, Jada's a tough cookie out front. She's a really good player, handles injuries well, plays with a lot of pain sometimes. She is a, she is a tough customer, I can tell you. I expect her to be back on the floor here momentarily. As she's trying to walk it off. It's the training staff of 10 store, joined basketball. And into the lineup, replace her, replace her in the lineup. It's going to be Jordan Petaway for the Hawks for the first time tonight. So one Virginia Beach native gives away to another. Here's Green, gets it to Henderson. Here runner in the lanes, a little strong, no good. Tipped around, control underneath by Drumgoo. Drumgoo gets the far side of Hewitt's back in the lineup. Gets Clifton streaking through the lane. Her left-handed layup is missed. Tipped outside and still loose by Joanne Williams. It'll belong to Choan headed back the other way as it went off the hands of Hewitt just as it went out of bounds in the corner. Choan will have this opportunity to get Daniel Well and back in the lineup for Green. Green's first action for Choan. She's having a little discussion with Coach Latoya Green, Latoya Jones here in the near side. And here's Coco quickly coming front court with it with 30 seconds left. Well, and at the high post, turning the lane, looping shot over Johnson, won't go. Another rebound here for Drumgoole. He's made a big presence for Fanville State in size. He's coming in the lineup midway in this period. The shot clock is off now, and so Fanville State will hold for the last shot here in the period, down 21-19. Drumgoole working out front against pressure from Petaway. Now works off a pick from Clifton. Goes inside on Williams. Williams blocked the shot. Came right to Henderson with four seconds to go. Kayla trying to take it all the way. Can he get it off any time? Yes, he can, but it won't go. We play one quarter here basketball. Show on a pretty exciting quarter. Show on will head to the bench after his first 10 minutes. Up 21-19, back for the second quarter. After this short timeout, this is Show on Basketball. Go see your Hawks.com. She said she too young, no one, no man. So she gon' call her friends and that's a plan. I just saw the sushi from Japan. She said she too young, no one, no man. So she gon' call her friends, now that's a plan. I just saw the sushi from Japan. Now yo, just wanna kick it, Jackie Chan. She said she too young, no one, no man. So she gon' call her friends, now that's a plan. I just saw the sushi from Japan. Now yo, just wanna kick it, Jackie Chan. 
said she too young, don't want no man. So she gon' call her friends, now that's a plan. Start of the second tour here. So I'm a good one here between the Hawks and the Broncos. They're you know, playing their annual crossover matchup this year at Chowan's Helm Center. And here's the pass going down inside off the hands of Chantel Bennett and out of bounds. A turnover the six of the half here for Fairville State. We get Chowan the basketball back. Both teams uh, shooting. And a low clip here, both shooting under 50% as we start in the second period. Join at 36% and Federal State 46.7. They loop it inside to Weldon. Weldon caught in the double team trying to go outside. They get it for the bush off in the charge. So Daniel Weldon's got two fouls. Danielle's fouled out twice this year. And that's going to get Olivia Gator right off the bench, and Daniel Weldon's going to come out here with 9.27 to go in the half. Showing up in front, 21-19. Showing going to show some 2-1 two, two full court pressure. And Henderson and Coco chasing in the back court. And Stewart will come up front court. And we got a check foul at front, I believe, on Kayla Henderson. And for Kayla, it's going to be foul number two. Just a hand check foul out on the perimeter. And that's going to get Jada Lee back in the lineup here for Henderson. I told you Lee wouldn't be out in the lineup long. She is one tough customer and one tough cookie and tell you what she's a really tough player and I've enjoyed watching her play here for three and a half years and she's always been one of my favorites. In the corner it goes to Hewitt she launched a long three and he hit the side of the backboard and right to Olivia Gator. The Chorin went over the front court. Coker with a long pass to Williams who's behind it. the defense and it goes off Williams's hands and out of bounds. We'll turn over to the back to Federal State. Federal State will leave here and head to Petersburg where they will face Virginia State coming up on Saturday. Not sure where the Broncos will go right to Petersburg or head back to Federal State, which is about a three-hour trip from here. Just come up 95 on Saturday, take Virginia State on and move up to Petersburg tonight and work out at Virginia State tomorrow and play on Saturday afternoon. Here's a jumper inside. It goes in and comes out out of the hands of Hewitt. Shot will not go in. Back the other way works. Sean, here's Petaway, penetrating, pull up jumper just right of the lane, bounces around, and falls in for Petaway. Petaway's first bucket of the night. Far side, it goes to Hyman. She'll launch up the three ball again, won't go. Rebounding put back up by Hewitt. It won't go. Jam Williams with the rebound for the Hawks. Both teams having a little trouble getting the ball to go in from down in the low block. 23-19, Chowan Lee with two minutes into the second quarter here from Chowan. First of two games tonight here on GoSeeYouHawks.com. Here's the ball knocked away, stolen away by Hewitt. Hewitt trying to go coast to coast, and she can't get on the left. And Louis Gators there to claim it for Chowan. It's a ball. She basically got too far underneath the basket and threw it up and hit the bottom of the backboard. Came right to Gator for Chowan. Williams at the high post. Backboard to Williams. She'll end up and in. That's good playmaking by a couple of seniors who have played a lot of minutes together in Chowan uniforms, and that's Joanne Williams to Jada Lee for the assist in the bucket. Chowan's extended the lead back to six. They led by as many as seven in his first half. This side with the basketball works. Chantel Williams. Williams off to Hewitt. She'll penetrate and running one hand in the lane. Won't go. Tipped the lane. Still fought for it. Hewitt had it and lost the out of bounds. They belong to Chowan back the other way. And here's the two with Bagby in the lineup now for Joanne Williams. Also returning for for Fayetteville State is going to be Yakima Clifton and also Drum Cool. And coming out of the lineup, that's going to be Magda Boonham and also Dara Hewitt. So the Hawks working with it, working on the east end of the floor here at Bomb Perk Court at Jesse Helm Center. Join's going to finish up. Join them are going to finish up the 18th portion of the season here at home. 
Saturday against Sean Monday against St. Off. Here's Lee, a tough shot left of the lane, 15 feet, no good, got it on the rebound. Put it back up, had it blocked, Jordan Pettaway is going to chase it down. It's Coach Latoya Jones, stepped on the bottle of Gatorade and almost fell on the floor. Here's Bagby with a left hand away up and go. Lee's got another rebound and forced it up and won't go. Finally, young Reef, we got a foul in the Reef on Jada Lee, I believe. And for Jada's going to be her second person. So Lee, Wall, and Henderson all with two fouls here in the first half. Coach Latoya Jones, some pretty good agility. She stepped on that rolling bomb with Gatorade and down below us here and nearly took a steal. But she's pretty fleet of foot, and she kept her balance. And, of course, Coach Jonetta Williams' assistant helped her stabilize herself. Here's a missed shot from right front. No good. Clifton's got a rebound. Won't go. And finally chased out there by Chantel Bennett. Federal State having trouble sticking in the basket here, but they're getting a lot of offensive boards. Clifton's shot's no good. Hewitt's got it on the follow. So in the fifth time, correction, that's Hyman on the follow. And Hyman, with, on the fifth time, gets it in. And we've got a timeout here for on the floor. And let's see, it's just going to be a 30-second timeout, and it will. This is one of four games being played tonight. Another was postponed here in the league. All 5.30 starts tonight. Virginia State hosting St. Augustine. Lincoln up in Pennsylvania hosting Johnson C. Smith. And Shaw is at Elizabeth City State. Shaw will probably possibly stay in the area and make it their way here to Chowan on a, a 2 o'clock start on Saturday afternoon. We'll have that game for you on GoCUHawks.com. It will be a girls only game here coming up on Saturday. We'll be back with you on Monday night to finish up the 2018 portion of our season here for Chowan women as they will play host to St. Augustine. Chowan men, by the way, had a scheduled date back on Tuesday night against St. Augustine. That was Called off to the Clement Weather in the Raleigh area. St. Augustine's couldn't get out their campus. And so the Chowan men will play for the first time in seven days tonight. They'll get Fayetteville State. Then they'll hit the road to be up at West Virginia State on Sunday to conclude the 18th portion of the season. We'll see both teams, men and women, back here on January the 3rd as the Catawba women will face the Chowan women and the men from Shaw will be here that evening. And then we'll see the Chowan men here on Sunday the 6th which is a 7.30 matchup, but we'll check out that time for you here a little bit later. 25-21, Chowan ladies with the lead with 6.05 to go in this first half. Here's a runner in the lane by Petaway, no good, fought for the rebound and taking the ball away, it's gonna be drum goal. And she stepped out of bounds with it, trying to take it away from Destiny Robinson, the 5'10 freshman who's now in the lineup for Chowan. Chowan's got Williams, Bagby, Robinson, Coker, and Petaway currently in the lineup. This is Jordan with an out front, working between the rings, goes to the right side of the floor, kicks it away to Coker at the high post to Williams. Williams working inside, left-handed layup is good. The late Taylor High School front of center first bucket of the afternoon. Join leads 12 to 27-21. Drum goal on the left wing to the high post to Johnson. Trying to go inside. Knocked away by Robinson. Recovered by Bagby for the turnover. The seventh of the half here for Variable State. Coker hands it away to Petaway. Petaway a couple of dribbles against this 2 3 zone to Williams. Now to Bagby at the top of the key and she's going to walk with it. A question at the high post and she tried to back in against the taller. Keisha Hyman, and she traveled with correction. Amanda Johnson, and she traveled with Johnson, a big presence inside at six foot four. Young lady from out of Durham, North Carolina, who started her career at Highwood University up in Washington, D.C. Pebble State with the basketballs. We're near the halfway point of the second quarter here from Chowan. Here's Johnson running down the lanes a little short, but the long rebound comes back out to Chantel Williams. So, a fresh 30 seconds here for the Bristol Broncos. Jumping right on the right, no good. And chased down on the far side by Williams for Chowan off to Coca. Here's Mariah. Cutting inside, but she's cut off nicely here by Williams. She'll hand it away to Petaway. Works right in front of the Federal State bench here in the corner. Ball's knocked out of bounds and out of her hands by Chantel Williams. So it still belongs to Chowan. Stoppage of play will get Joanne Williams on the lineup and Delano Green in the lineup for Chowan. Green playing a... Making her first appearance this season here tonight. 
Uh, Coco working out between the lanes against his 2 3 zone as we hit the 434 mark of the second quarter. Trying, trying to add to a 27 21 lead and trying to get the 2 0 in conference play. Coco to Petaway in the corner of the Bagley. Bagley spins just left of the lane. Jumper is a little strong, no good. It's off the hands of Clifton. He'll still belong to Chowan. And the Hawks will get a fresh 30 seconds to do something with it as Clifton is a little slow to get up underneath. Boy, the shooting rows here for Fanville State at 8 of 27 for 29.6 percent. But Chowan just can't pull away because the Hawks are shooting only 36.7 percent themselves. Maybe a little exam hangover here for both teams. Here's Petaway, lost it. Picked up by Robinson in the corners. Petaway lost a balance. Bagley spinning the lane against Johnson, and he get it for the foul underneath. Foul's going to be able to get Johnson trying to cut Bagley off. And I'm sure Jacarit was holding the breath. He only has one foul. Selection of foul is going to be on... Coming out of Johnson with a foul. Here's Bagby at the line. Free throws on its way for Chikiri. It's up to go. Chikiri is 74% free throw shooter. It's her first point of the night. Freshman invite up. Woodrow Wilson High School up in Portsmouth, Virginia. She'll bounce at one time. Spin it up and it's no good. Clifton had it and lost it and cut away. Thought she had saved it but stepped out of bounds with it. So the basketball belonged to the Broncos at a Fayetteville State University. It's down the road here from Murfreesboro, down I-95, about two and a half to three hours away. Not a bad trip at all here in the CIAA for either one of these teams when they're playing each other. Penetration jumper from right on the or run on right on the right is good by Chantel Bennett. Her second bucket, and that's the first time in a while that Fayetteville State has scored a field goal. And the last points came on Drum Gould's Drum Gould's free throws. Petaway with a long three on the left. She banks it home. Petaway, the bank is open for Jordan Petaway. Eight point advantage now for the Hawks with 321 left in the half. Williams pulls up the dribble, hands it away to a correction. Bennett pulls up the dribble, hands it away to Williams. Williams, one dribble over to Drum Gould. Drum Gould goes by Bagley, and he'll get Bagley for the hand check here on the near side. The security second foul, so Lee, Weldon, Bagley, and Henderson all with two fouls, and it's probably going to get Bagley out of the lineup as the Liberty Gator will hop off the bench. But Chowan's other players with two fouls are seated. It's Fayetteville State with inbounds underneath their own bucket to Clifton. Cut off nicely by Gavin. Now slice it through a couple of defenders. Her runner won't go. Ball's loose underneath. Recovered by Fayetteville State. They get it out to Drum Gould. Nice job by Clifton to save it. Now a penetration move coming here by Williams. It's your travel with it. Turnover gives it back to Chowan. The eighth of the first half. And coming out of the lineup is going to be Chantel Williams. Chantel Williams. And in the lineup is going to be Katisha Hyman. For the Broncos of Fayetteville State. By the way, across the timeline, cut off nicely by Drum Gould. She'll hand it back to Coker. He's been off the floor this entire half. Here, Robinson caught the double team. Swings tonight to Coker. Her three pointers blocked away by Clifton. Recovered by Bennett. Bennett looking to come on the run. She'll get away to Hyman. Hyman pulls up on the right. 18 foot is good by Katisha Hyman. Hyman's eight points leads the scoring here for Fayetteville State. Jones lead drops to six. Here's Green on the right side, loops it inside to Robinson. Nearly stolen, Robinson recovers over in the corner to Petaway. She'll arch up a three in the corner, some air ball. They fight for the rebound, Robinson had it, lost it, and Clifton's got it, she's fouled by Green. John just can't seem to get the hands on her underneath. Hawks have been high rebounded here in this first one. Oh, they're, they're leading on the boards, 21-19. It's well, interesting to see how many offensive boards that Fayetteville State's got in his half. As we'll walk back the other way, as that's a 15 foul now on the home standing Hawks. As that foul occurred that time on Green. And a shot is no good by Clifton. As Johnson comes out to line up and in replace is going to be Corinthia Lindsay, 6'1 junior out of 
from Fayetteville. She's Palm Beach State transfer. And Cookton converts on the second free throw for her first point of the day. Sean has inserted Jada Lee back in the lineup with this 219 spot in the second quarter. Showing up by five. Lee hands it away to Petaway. It's Lee, Petaway, Coker, Gable, and Green in the floor currently. Fayetteville State now in the, looks like a more of a 1 2 3 zone. They look like a 1 3 1, but they're back in the 2 3. Here's Petaway trying to penetrate it. Cannot. Go back and back out. Now goes right side. Puts it right to the left. She sprung around home and rolled up and scored. Jordan Petaway's got seven. And Sean Lee back to seven out, 33 26. Here in front of a sparse crowd here in the Hampson. Pretty much what you expect. Karen A.B. and former Sean women's basketball coach used to tell me as the falls turned over by Fairville State underneath that Bennett couldn't handle the pass. When you have games like this, you've got to clear up your own excitement. And that's what the Hawks are doing thus far with a 33-26 lead here at home. Looks like Fayetteville State's going to pressure in the backcourt. Hyman trying to pressure Coker, and then she'll back off as Coker gives it to Gable across the timeline. Recovered by Coker at front after Gable had it knocked away from him by Hyman. Petaway on the left wing. Over the corner, it goes to Green. Her first shot as a hawk is a three ball, but it's no good. Gable tapping the ring, control that front behind it. Here comes Hyman on the run. Bounce to the win, a nice fast pass. Blocked away from Bennett by Jordan Petaway. Recovered by Lee. Petaway's got it coming front court. She'll take it inside all the way for the left, and she got it. Jordan Petaway with a big first pass. has got nine. Now, yeah, Charles lead has got their biggest now, 35-26. We're inside a minute to go in the first half. Coming up halftime, we'll give you the team stats, individual stats. Take a look at the league standings here at halftime. Get you ready for the second half. Inside, jumper on the baseline is no good. Now, the hands of Lindsay, they fight for the rebound. It's off the third of state. It belongs to Chowan. Here's Joanne Williams getting in the lineup now. And she'll replace, let's see, Olivia Gator. Showing with 41.3 seconds to go, trying to add to what is a nine point lead here at home against Fayetteville State. In front of a few Chowan fans, maybe a handful of Fayetteville State fans that made the trip here. Here's Lee at the high post, back to Coca. Coca to Williams on the right wing. Skip pass, far side, tipped away and stolen away by Bennett. That's Chowan's eighth first half turnover. That matches the nine that Fayetteville State's got. Here's a runner inside, a blocking foul. Coming here on Lee is going to be a third. And that's going to be a three-point play opportunity coming here from Drumgool. And so Jada Lee has just picked up foul number three. So Lee will come out of the lineup with Libby Gay to go back in and Lee still holding that right arm as she comes out. And that is a huge foul. And Drumgool will try to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. She's been a big spot from this team off the bench. And she completes the three-point play and seven points now for Drumgool. That cuts the deficit now to six with 17.7 seconds to go. Do we have a foul here on the rebound? Let's see. The foul occurred on the rebound and it's whistled on Green. So Green now with two fouls. And it's a player control foul, so they will get they will stay to get the ball back with 17.7 seconds to go. So they could turn this into a five, maybe six point play. Drum Gould goes baseline, whips it inside, shot block away from Lindsay, and recovered by Green for Chowan. Ten seconds to go. Gave him moving through traffic, coming front court. She will arch up the long run, and she got it. Oh my goodness, from downtown Murfreesboro. This minute will let it go right at the buzzer. And I don't think Gator realized that Chowan had a lot of time out, but she drills it from about 35 feet away, and Chowan will go to the locker room up 38 to 29 here at the break. You can see some of the Chowan men's team on the far side who are in attendance tonight waiting for their game to start. And boy, they were on their feet real quick when Gator knocked it in from Wallace Grill. At the break, Chowan leading 38-29 with that after the short timeout. So she gonna call Be my 
my destiny. She want me to eat it, I guess then it's on me. You know I got the sauce like a recipe. She just wanna do it for the grand. She just want this money in my hand. I'ma give it to her when she dance, dance, dance. She gon' catch a rumor out the Calabasas. She said she too young, no one. About me, back. about me back Just cause they heard what hood I'm from They think I'm crazy, I think I'm crazy. Okay, well maybe just a little crazy just a little. Cause I admit I'm crazy about that lady yeah, yeah. Oh. Finger to the world, it's you pay I've been slaving Run the cause I'm running out of patience No more waiting, no, no Answer life for yo, yo Living life on fast forward But we slow, mo. yeah, yeah She said she too young Back here at Chillin with the Chillin Ladies lead Federal State here at home. 38-29, Louie Gaither providing the spot right by the half. He knocks one in from 35 feet away, and it gives Chillin the match the biggest lead of the first half at 38-29. Got inside you. Back with you high above the floor here at Bob Burke Court here on the campus of Chillin University here at the Jesse Helm Center. And Federal State got themselves back in it late in the first period, but now shooting really faulted in the second period. They were 4-19 for just 20. 1.1% in that second period, but they forced several show on turnovers and just kind of kept in the game here, shooting 7 of 8 from the free throw line, but even even though they shot poorly from the field, the free throw shooting and rebounding kind of kept Fayetteville State close, even though they're down 9 here at the half. The Broncos got 11 of 34 from the field for 32.4%. They were 0 for 6 from the yard, 7 of 8 from the free throw line. For show on, they go 14 of 35 from the field for 40%, but the Hawks were 6 of 11 beyond the arc, including Olivia Gave it going three of four. Rebound wise, Sean had 24 rebounds in the first half compared to Fayetteville State with just 21. Both teams doing a good job on the offensive class. They combined for 17 offensive boards. In the turnover department, fairly close as well. Sean fourth, 10 first half turnovers. They committed nine themselves. We'll come back, take a look at the individual numbers from the first half. The Sean ladies lead here at the break, and they lead it by nine. As you listen to Chowan Basketball on GoSeeHawks.com. Traveling in packs that I can't carry anymore. I'm waiting for somebody else to 
to carry me There's nothing that's there for me At my door All the people I know Aren't who they used to be And if I try to change my life One more day There would be nobody else to save And I can't change into a person I don't want to be so Oh, it's Saturday night Close to it. The Thursday evening here on the campus of Chowan University and Chowan Devil State going at it in the crossover matchup. Seeing the Devil Lane Hawks have the better over here in that women's game here at the break. 38 29. Let's take a look at scoring in the first half. Chowan with some pretty good balance there by Mariah Coco with 10 first half points. Nine here to each for Jordan Penaway and Olivia Gaither. Uh, four for Jada Lee. Three for Danielle Weldon. One for Jacqueline Bagby and two for Joanne Williams. As Destiny Robertson and Kayla Henderson, along with uh, Latanya Green, also action in the first half but did not score because of Georgia Jones' Hawks. Eight points for Katisha Hyman, the Chaka Winnington native, that leading the way for run for hey, she went to Brunswick Community College for Fayetteville State. Seven for Drum all Drum off the bench. Four each for Chantel Bennett and Diara Hewitt. And three for Amanada Johnson and two for Magda Beanham. T.T. Magda Beanham, Yakuna Clifton. The preseason all CIAA pick with just one point here in the first half. Chantel Williams, along with Corinthia Lindsay and Michelle Gaynor. All saw action for Coach Serena King Coleman in that first half, but did not score. At the break, showing ladies leading 38 29. We'll take a look around the league and get you ready for the second half. We return here to the Jesse Helm Center and Bob Court. Here for this. Fairville State Chowan matchup. Girls from Chowan right in front here at the break as they lead it by a score of 38 29. This ain't for the best. My reputation's never been worse, so it was like me for me. me, for me, for me, for me. We can't make, make any promises now, can we, babe? But you can make me dream, 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 dream. Dive on the east side, where you at? Oh damn, if I seen that color blue Just think of the fun things we could do Cause I like you This ain't for the best My reputation's never been worse so It was like 
Back on the fours, we get you ready for this second half. Showing ladies trying to win for the sixth time this season, leading Federal State 38 29 here to break. Let's take a look at the standings here in the Northern Division, showing at 1 0 and 5 and 4. Virginia Union has not played a conference game. It was scheduled to play Virginia West Winston Salem tonight, but that game has been postponed due to inclement weather up in the Winston Salem area. And they are 8 0 on the season. Bowie State 0 0 and 6 and 1. They are off tonight. Virginia State at home tonight against St. Aug, looking at their first conference win. They are 0 0 starting tonight. 5 and 2 overall. Pittsburgh City State 0 and 1 and 5 and 4. Lincoln is 0 and 0 and 5 and 4. In the seventh division, we've seen a Clapping team play. Clapping's at 4 and 2 and 6 and 5. St. Aug is 1 and 1 and 2 and 4. Federal State making their first conference appearance tonight, 0-0 and 3-3. And and Livingstone at 0-0 and 3-4. And Shaw at 0-1 and 2-4. And and Winston Salem at 0-0 and 3-5. And, and, and Johnson C. Smith, who's playing at Lincoln tonight, 0-0 and looking for their first win of the season. As they're having trouble getting it going out of Johnson C. Smith, Coach Joyner, Steve Joyner. Had a tough time getting his team. He's been very successful here over the past few years to get it going. They start the season at 0-5, but a long ways to go. They're just getting into conference play. And I can imagine Coach Jordan is going to have his Golden Bull, Lady Golden Bulls, in the mix of things in the Southern Division before the season's over. As we get ready to start this second half, here from Killon. The Edward Saints going to leave here and head up to Petersburg and take on Virginia State. Coming up on Saturday, Chillen's going to be right here, back here at home on Saturday. And as they play Shaw on the 2 o'clock tip, Chillen will get the first 
opportunity here in the second half as they'll get the basketball working to the west goal here at Sean. So for me, with the helm center way, I see entrance goal, front entrance goal. Taylor had a big first half with the ball out on the right. She'll hand it away to Lee. Lee in the high post as well, and Daniel didn't play much in the first half through the foul trouble. She turns in the lane, tries to go back door to Lee and threw it behind and out of bounds. And it belongs to Global State on the turnover here. And here comes the Global State Broncos for the first time back. Play flying pass, and the jumper is missed on the far side by Hewitt. But Chowan has it knocked out of bounds as Bagby was battling against Magnum Brunham inside. So it still belongs to Fable State on eight to own basket. Hyman to inbounds. Gets it in to Hewitt, whose runner won't go to Magnum beat him in the offensive glass. Here's a penetration by Hyman. He's sure Jumper won't go. They fight for it in the rebound. It goes off Kogut. Still belongs to Fable State. We saw Fayetteville State a couple of times in the first half get different opportunities, as much as four and five opportunities on the offensive end. And they're starting the second half the same way that they finished it. This is their fourth opportunity here in the first possession. High front works. Bennett. Bennett will back it out against this 1-3-1 one, one zone for Chowan. They loop it inside to Magda Beam. She lost it out of bounds. So both teams set for turnovers in the first possession of the second half. And Chuan will get the ball back. Going to have to work in front court against pressure. Gaither, Coker, Bagby, Weldon, and Lee make up the starting contingent for Chuan here in the second half. Same team that started the game. Here's Weldon at the high post. Goes inside and running one hand is knocked away. Taken away underneath by Pierre Hewitt. Here comes Fayetteville State on the run. Hyman to the rack, and she's going to be fouled on the play. Let's see the whistle underneath. It's going to indicate the person to be on Chowan, Shakiri Bagby. And Bagby just didn't quite get in position to draw the charge that she was trying to draw on Katisha Hyman. So Hyman's at the line trying to score the first points for the second half for either one of these teams. She'll take a couple dribbles and arch it up, and it is good. So Hyman with the free throw. And Bagby's going to get out of the lineup as Jordan Petaway, who had a good first half in the lineup to replace her here. <laughs> and Yakima Clifton's going to get into the lineup to replace Magna Beanham, also Anamana Johnson, the 6'4 sophomore from Durham, will replace Hewitt. So it's going to be Johnson, Clifton, Hyman. Williams and Bennett on the floor for the Broncos. And the second free throw is good as well for Hyman. She's in double digits with 10. He's the first player in Fayetteville State to reach double digits. That's a 38-31 lead for Chowan here early in the second half. Matter of fact, we played 90 seconds thus far in the third quarter. Coker working from left to right. Now we'll come on the dribble to the right side. Chowan having a little trouble in against this 2-1-2 zone. Lee with a pull-up jumper, 18 feet is good for Jada Lee. First bucket of the second half by the senior from out of Virginia Beach. And Chowan's Lee back to nine. Here's Clifton maneuvering inside and well and fall away jumper, 15 feet, it's a little strong. Rebounded by Gator for Chowan. She'll take a double dribble, hands away to Lee. Hawks coming on the run, push it to Coke in the corner. She'll try to penetrate and have caught on the foul underneath. She was trying to go along the baseline and Hyman trying to cut her off, picked up the personal. It's going to be Hyman's first and the team first of this second half. The charm will get the ball underneath on the player control, and Coker looking to get it in, having trouble, finally gets it out front to Petaway, who had gotten loose from Bennett. And it bounces to Gaither inside. Gaither trying to back inside against Johnson. Johnson whistle for the check inside. But I'm, I'm out of Johnson. It's foul number two. And the team second team foul here in this third quarter for the Bristing Broncos. Coker again looking in back. Looking, looking, looking. Finally loops the night front to Lee and is stolen away. Here by Chantel Williams. Williams gets inside the bench and Lee picks her pocket for two on. Here's Lee coming front court on three on one. She'll take it over to Will and missed the layup. Rebounded by Hyman up front. Chowan missed a golden opportunity to push the lead to double digits for the first time. They'll get a Kato Henderson up and head to the scores table after that missed opportunity. Jumper fall away is no good. Out of the hands of 
Williams, Joanne with the rebound. Back to Gator, who's behind the defense. So layup is good. Olivia Gator is in double digits now. That matches her career high at 11. And Joanne's got the first double digit lead at 42 to 31 with 7.16 to go in the third period. So it's obviously it was their biggest lead of the night. Ike Frenick comes to Hyman. He's had a big game tonight. They're trying to loop it down inside. Lee's got another steal. That's three quick turnovers from Fairville State in the second half. Lee to put away. She almost walked with it. Turns around, gives it to Kirk. Back to Jordan in the corner for a three ball. Very strong. Rowland's got the offensive board. She wheels around. Clifton can't get it to go. Got to run rebound and stuck it back in. Danielle Rowland's got a slow right foot tonight on the offensive end. It's good to the go. And we'll get to a media timeout as Coach. Serena King Coleman in for the timeout as the team falls down by 13 with 6.43 to go in the third. We're back for more after this short timeout. This is Join Basketball you're listening to on GoCUHawks.com. to increase the lead to the biggest of the night at 44-31 with 6.43 in the during the third period here and Coach Keen Coleman asked for the timeout to try to get her team squared away here and trying to slow down this charm momentum here in this third quarter. Not a lot of people in the house at the Helm Center tonight, but these two teams are put on a pretty good one here. Here's Henderson trying to press in the backcourt as she has replaced Lee in the show on lineup. Runners off the glass and no good by Williams. Rebounded by Weldon. Weldon kicks her way to Coleman. Or correction to Coca. Maybe a Gator's got it on the right wing. She traveled with it, trying to maneuver around the defense side on the far side. Here from Chantel Williams. Third tunnel for Chowan in the second half and the 12th of the night. So Fairville State's got another chance to cut in this 13-point deficit here on the road. Virginia State, Virginia State started tonight three and three, showing at five and four. Showing trying to win their second conference game. Their other conference win came in a crossover matchup with Clapper. There's a ball knocked away, stolen away by Weldon inside. Not good ball handling here in the second half for the Broncos. At four turnover, Coker for three, no good. Gave the close to the right, and it's fouled underneath. Come on, Dad, it's a that was. Foul's going to be, I believe. Whistled on Brittany Drumgoo, and it's going to be her second. It was either going to be her or Lindsay inside. Join with another chance at it. Increase the lead. Glazer's got a wide open looking at three, and this is misses badly. Rebound on the far side by Chantel Williams. Williams coming in front court to Hyman. He cuts in the lane. Almost lost the basketball right to Drumgoo, and her three misses badly. As Devil State continues to have troubles around the arc. Weldon's got the rebound and underneath falls to the right. And Coach Latoya Jones called a timeout to save the possession with 5.39 to go in the third. So this should be a 30-second timeout. And when you look at what Federal State has done on the year beyond the arc, they are 9 of 62 coming in here today at 14.5%. They're over 7 now beyond the arc. And Chowan in the ball game tonight with six three-pointers. Six out of 14 opportunities. But he missed their only three here in the second half. And that's basically the difference in this ball game. 
Hamilton because Tillman has 18 points beyond the arc compared to none for the Broncos. Clock falls with 5.39 to go in the third period here from Chowan. Chowan signed a few players from next year in this early signing period last week. You can go to GoSeeYouHawks.com and see what the Doria Jones and their staff did here in this first semester. Did a pretty good job recruiting because you got several seniors on this team. Jordan Petaway, Jada Lee, Danielle Weldon, Joanne Williams all playing that last year for Chowan. So Chowan's going to have some big shoes to fill in there lineup coming up next year. The staff has recruited well in the past two years and they got four good players coming next year as well. But go to go see you hawks.com and you can pick up those young ladies who plan to be future hawks next season here for Coach Latoya Jones and our staff here at Chowan. Still a few folks kind of coming into the arena here at the Helm Center. Trying to take in some Hawks basketball tonight. We have a lot of the alumni coming in, a lot of the professors and staff members here at Chowan who are living in the nearby area, haven't left to go home for the holidays like a lot of the students have coming in and supporting these two teams tonight. So the, after the timeout, we'll get back to it here. That 30-second timeout turned into a, a quick timeout, or a, a media timeout, I should say. So Chowan will get the basketball underneath the Federal State bucket, and they'll face a T1-T T full court press coming front court. Coker and Henderson get it across the timeline to well. Now back out to Henderson. The Coker works out between the rings. And Federal State will drop back in that 2-3 zone. They've been in the entire night, with the exception of a couple of opportunities they play the 1-3-1. Coker's got it on the right. Ten seconds to shoot. Now the cutaway at the high post. She piles away in the lane and gets fouled. Cutaway just split a couple of defenders, and she drew the foul. Foul's going to be on Kira Page. It's going to be her first. And it's going to be Petaway at the free throw line for the Hawks. She'll launch at the free throw and got it. Petaway in double digits now with 10. Her season high is 12. She's just pushed the Chowan lead to 14. But still a long ways to go for the Hawks as Petaway can't make the second. And it's knocked out of bounds by Federal State. So Chowan will retain the basketball. Let's see if Chowan can do a little better job of getting it in bounds here this time. They've had a little trouble getting it in bounds from underneath their own bucket. Coker looking, now bats it inside to Weldon. Weldon kicks it back out to Henderson in the corner to Coker. Back to Weldon in the low post. Coker, Coker goes baseline, bats it back to Weldon, stole it away by Hyman. One pass too many that time by the Hawks. Hyman gets it away to Bennett, who lays it up and in. So a good job by Federal State to convert the turnover and the points back to the other end. They cut the deficit to 12 to the Broncos. We're inside of five minutes to go in the third quarter here from Chowan. Chowan late is trying to add to a 45-33 lead. Here's Mariah Coker bouncing on the right side. She'll two-hand the pass over to Henderson, who lost it out of bounds. No, she knocked it in right to Hyman. Hyman trying to come front court, and she nearly lost it, but recovers. Another Chowan turnover, this five in the quarter. Inside to Bennett, her layup is up and good. The back-to-back buckets here by Chantel Bennett after the timeout. And the deficit down to 10 now for the Broncos. But they just cannot get across the timeline on the pass in the backcourt. So another Chowan turnover as Joanne Williams and Lee will get in the lineup to replace Danielle Weldon and Kayla Henderson. So the Broncos with a little bit of comeback here. It's a good timeout by Coach Keen Coleman. And her team can get a little closer here as they maneuver here on the near side. Hyman working out front. She's been the leading scorer tonight for the Broncos with 10. Bennett off the page, and it's knocked away and stolen by Gator. Knocked away by Joanne Williams, stolen by Gator. Good play by Joanne Williams, who just gone in the lineup here for Joanne. Lee now back out, taking over the point guard duties, walking in the Center jump circuit with the big hawk painted on the floor here at Bomb Burt Court. She maneuver gets Bennett on the right side, hands away to Gator. Gator trying to cut in the lane, cut off nicely that time by Bennett. The cutaway as they run the little weave right front. Inside to Williams, she'll force it up over Clifton and scores. Sure. Joanne Williams, first bucket of the second half, she just forced it up over Clifton. 47 35, show on three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter here for this women's matchup between Fayetteville State and Chowan. 
Should be a pretty good men's matchup tonight. Sean trying to stay undefeated. Here's Page had it blocked away again, but it went right to Drumgoole. Drumgoole hands it off to Bennett. Her jump around on the right, no good. Joanne Williams with a good inside position on Page with a rebound. She'll kick it away to Lee. Lee stops just as she gets across the timeline to survey the defense here for Fayetteville State. The senior from out of Virginia Beach just bouncing in up front. Just no hurry here for the Hawks with 2.54 to go in the third, up 47-35. Here's Gaither. He's had a big night behind the arc tonight. She'll get it to Coker, the cutaway. Cutaway trying to go in on Page. Turns around, fires off the baseline, no good. Gun Google trying to save it, knocked it out of bounds. The Torn will get the basketball in the first 30 seconds. As Page will come out and then replace her, it's going to be Michelle Ganey. Here's Coker looking the inbounds and gets it into Williams. Williams caught the double team, has nowhere to go, but dribbles out of it. Inside the Coker, a reverse layup is no good. Williams had to rebound and lost it, but got it back. Good job by Joanne Williams, who's one of the best rebounders in this league to save the basketball. Coker couldn't miss the reverse layup. I think she kind of surprised himself being that wide open. But Sean's got another chance to add to it here. Here's Petaway from the free throw line. Driver off the glass. No good. Gaither's got the rebound for the Hawks. She'll force it up. No good. Petaway's got another shot at it. She'll force it up and good foul. Good offensive work by the Hawks here in the board. And the foul's going to be whistled on Yakima Clifton in her second. And that'll be the fifth team foul now for Federal State here in the third quarter. And here's Petaway at the line shooting two free throws. Petaway is a 40% free throw shooter. She's one of two on the night. And make a two of three. Substitution now for Federal State is Magna Bunum. Chi Chi Magna Bunum will get in for Bennett. So Magna Bunum, Poole, Drumgoole that is. Hyman, Ganey, and Williams make up the lineup here for Federal State. Join with Canada with Gaither, Williams, Petaway, Coker, and Lee. Here's Jordan's second free throw attempt, and it's no good off the front of the iron. And rebound is fought for, and off the hands of Gungo, and it belongs to Sean. Sean getting a lot of good opportunities here, second opportunities, they need to make the best of them. There's another substitution in the lineup as De'Ara Hewitt will get in the lineup field for Hyman. Coker swings it way out front to cut away on the inbounds. Petaway calls Coker to it. She'll bounce it away to the junior final of Portsmouth, Virginia. Preseason all CIAA pick who on the night has 10 points all in the first half. Lee backing over the corner to Williams at the high post. She'll take it inside. A lot of bodies hitting the deck and Julian Williams going to get whistled for the personal. And we got we got the change a blocking foul says the official. They changed the call. Official underneath and the official right front couldn't get, we're not on the same page. And the official underneath says it's a blocking foul. So they changed the call and it'll go against the Arrow Hewitt. So another opportunity, a good opportunity here for the Hawks. So here's Williams at the line for Chowan. With the Hawks up in front by 13. Make it 14. One fifty-two to go in the third quarter here. Show one. Join ladies up by 14. He just matched the biggest lead of the night. And Williams can't convert on the second opportunity. And rebound comes on the far side to Fayetteville State. Over the corner is Ganey. With a high above her head, she'll take one dribble and get in out front to Williams. And Williams threw it over to Gun Guru. She didn't see it. Turnover gives it back to Cho on this. Coco's got the basketball out front. Williams just find it cross court, trying to get it to Brittany Drum and She was going the other way and never saw the pass. So Chowan, right, playing the right spot that time is Mariah Coco for the steal. There's Petaway at the free throw line. Loops it inside to Williams and out of bounds, off Williams, and it'll belong back the other way to Fayetteville State. The Hawks will turn it right back over to Fayetteville State. And Drum Gould will get out of the lineup and Bennett back in to replace her. Coach Serena King Coleman trying to find a matchup that'll work for a team tonight as they find themselves down 14 with a 
75 seconds to go in the third quarter. Here's Bennett, fakes up Lee, steps inside the arc, fires up the jumper, no good. They go to the rack. Joanne Williams to claim it for the Hawks. Joanne now with six rebounds on the night. Coker working out between the rings as she walks near the center court. Circle. He's only now for jump balls here in basketball. One at the start of the ball game, and anytime we have anything in overtime, put away along the baseline, sure, up and up and in. Put away with a career high 13 points, and Jordan's got a 16 point lead with 32 seconds to go in the third. And near steal again by Gator. She knocked it away, the cross court pass from Ganey to intended for Bennett. And to stop it, the play will get Hyman back in the lineup. Replacing Ganey for Fayetteville State. Here on the inbounds on the other side will be Chantel Williams. 21 seconds to shoot, 27 seconds to play in the third. Hawks leading by 16 here at home against the Broncos of Fayetteville State. And we've got a whistle underneath. Do we have a push off? We do. And that's going to be on De'Ara Hewitt. It's going to be her second foul. So Chorin's going to get the last shot at it here as the shot clock has been turned off here with 25.8 seconds to go in the third. Here's Lee getting it in the middle of the floor to Petaway, and she'll get it across the timeline. Now caught in a double team, back to Lee. As Fayetteville State starting to stretch out the defense a little bit. Chorin's been kind of burning this 2-3 zone. They've thrown at him most of the night. Lee trying to penetrate, and she gets hit and knocked down with seven seconds left. Down right front's going to be whistled in Chantel Williams. So two free throws coming here by Jay, for Jay to Lee with seven point seconds to go in the third. So here's Lee at the line. She's a 76% free throw shooter on the year. She'll take a couple of dribbles, spins it in her hand, archers her knees, and fires it up, and then missed it. Hit the back of the iron, and no good. Showing from the free throw line now, 7 and 13 on the night. Hawks come in a 60.7% free throw shooting team. And Lee's second one is good. Lee's got seven points on the night. Showing's got a 17 point lead with seven seconds to go in the third. Back out front, it comes to Hyman. Hyman's going to let the long three go, and it's no good. And that's going to end the third period. Hawks with a 17-point advantage as we head to the final 10 minutes as they lead over Fayetteville State. Here in our women's action, 52 to 35. Back for the start of the fourth and final quarter after the short timeout. This is Charlie Basketball. Go see your Hawks.com. State goes the final 438 of the third quarter and finds themselves down 52-35 yet Jones. We start second half. Shot blocked away from Hyman underneath by Weldon. Recovered by Joanne Williams. They will stay 2 of 12 for 16.7% in the third quarter alone. Jones at 33% on 5 of 15. 
Here's Coker with it on on the right side. Gives it to Petaway. He's had a big night here for the Hawks. He'll dump it to Lee at the high post inside to Weldon. Weldon turns, kicks it over to Coker, and they get a three-second violation against Chowan. Turnover for the Chowan for the Hawks going to be their 17th of the night. They forced 16 tonight. Here's Fred will stay back the other way. Broncos on a five-minute non-scoring skid. Here's Clifton trying to break it. She will inside and score. Yakima Clifton's first field goal tonight. She came in average of eight points a game. And we've got a foul in the backcourt, and foul's going to be whistled on Chantel Williams on the reach in. For Williams, her second and the team first of the fourth quarter for Fairville State. Coach Keen Coleman is telling and asking her team to come out and let's press it. Jordan's going to inbound near the Fairville State bench as Williams will bounce it in to Coker. He will skip it across the timeline here and get it over to Petaway on the right wing. Jordan skipped past far side to Coker. Right him look for Mariah, and she can't get it to go. They battle for it inside. We've got a whistle. And it's going to be on Chowans. Let's see. It's going to be whistling underneath on Petaway. Her first, team first of, of the four. Boy, Coker could have buried it through and given Chowan a 20-point advantage. A correction, an 18-point advantage. But nonetheless, Fairville State's come back the other way with a chance to cut it in this 15-point deficit. Chris Clifton goes back door to Bennett. Bennett maneuvering against Weldon, who cuts her off nice. Now in the corner to Hewitt. Did she bounce it out of bounds? And she did. Turnover back the other way for the, for the Hawks. 52-37. Chowan trying to come front court against full court pressure. Coker in the front court to Weldon. Weldon moves inside on Hewitt and lays it up and in. Hey, well, he would have no chance to stop at Daniel Weldon inside of the nice pass. Hilla Coker stolen away by Williams, but she steps out of bounds with it. She collided with Bennett on the far side, and Joanne had it, but ran out of real estate and stepped out of bounds. Petaway's 13, and Gaze's 11 moved away for the Hawks here, and 10 for Mariah Coker, all in the first half. Here's Clifton's 15 footer off the back of the iron, no good. Coker with a good block out underneath for the rebound. As Hewitt fell down underneath with no foul call as she kind of collided with Lee underneath for the Hawks. Coker out between the rings to Lee on the near side. High post comes to Williams. Now back to Coker. Join with a veteran group on the floor. Four seniors and a junior in Coker. Inside it goes to Weldon. Ball's not loose. Stolen away by Hewitt. Another Chowan turnover in the 19th second half. Here's Bennett moving inside against Coker. Back the other way to Clifton. Clifton lost the basketball but saves it. Off to Hyman, her jump with an air ball that retrieved underneath for Hewitt. He threw it right to Joanne Williams. Here's Williams coming front court, pulls up to Drew, gives it to Coker. Smart move by the senior. Well, it's all alone inside. She'll lay it up and in. Joanne doing a good, Joanne doing a good job of the press offense, and Beverly State now hustling back, and Weldon made him pay. It's a 19-point advantage now for Joanne, the biggest lead of the night. With 7.20 left in this one. and gets it to the high post to Clifton. Clifton going inside, over stretched on to Joanne Williams and scores. Clifton starting to warm it up here for Fayetteville State. He's had trouble getting it in the basket here tonight. Lee pulls up the dribble. Gets it over to Weldon across the timeline. And Danielle is going to come to the sidelines with the rest of the Hawks after the Chowan timeout. 6.59 to go in this one. Chowan's with a 56-39 lead here at home against Fayetteville State. Back for more after this short timeout. Take a seat, right over there, sat on the stairs, stay or leave. The cabinets are bare and I'm unaware of just how we got into this mess. Got so aggressive, I know we meant all good intentions. So pull me closer, why don't you pull me close? Why don't you come on over? I can't just let you go. Oh, baby, why don't you just...
kitchen floors are wet And taps are still running, dishes are broken How did we get into this mess? Got so aggressive I know we meant all good intentions So pull me closer, why don't you pull me closer? Hot basketball with a timeout as Kayla Hennis has been inserted in the lineup to inbounds, giving Coco a break. I think that's Mariah's first break tonight. Hey, she works with Lee in the backcourt. Does, does Henderson, the sophomore from out of Fredericksburg, Virginia, to Williams in the high post to Petaway. Petaway looked inside, couldn't get it to Weldon. And then to Williams, back to Petaway at the high post. Petaway had jumped in the lane, had the shot blocked, stolen away by Clifton. Clifton all the way to Hyman. Hyman in the back door to Bennett, and Henderson gets there a little late and draws a foul. But Taylor foul number three. But a good defensive effort that time by Clifton on the inside to block away the attempted shot that time by Petaway, and Henderson will pick up a third foul. And here is Bennett at the line. On the season, Chantel Bennett has not missed a free throw. She's 6 of 6 for a team that shoots 59% from the strike maker, 7 of 7. Bennett with 9 points on the night. Hyman leads away with 10 for the Broncos. Petaway with 13 for Chowan. And Bennett's second free throw rims out. They had a claim it's going to be Williams. So Bennett misses her first free throw of the year. Hawks with a 16-point advantage here at home with six and a half minutes left. Over in the corner to Hennings, she tried to go inside the well and knocked out of bounds by Clifton. Nice defensive move that time by Clifton to transfer from a Presbyterian. Down in South Carolina, Gaither's going to get in the lineup now. Kayla Henderson will come out. So a couple of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Natives kind of swapping in and out. Here's Williams with it, deep corner on the inbounds. Out front it comes to Petaway. Jordan kicks it back to Lee. Lee to well in that high post. Back door to Williams. She'll fake up Clifton. Put it up and score. Nice move by time by Jordan Williams. She faked up Clifton and find her easy spot inside. Seven now for Williams, the Norfolk Virginia senior. Who also has nine rebounds to go along with the seven points. We're going to whistle underneath back the other way. Foul's going to be whistled underneath on Danielle Weldon. And Weldon's going to be a third foul. And the third team foul for Chowan here in the fourth quarter. So Fable Stable inbounds underneath their own bucket. Baseline right. They're down 18 here at Chowan with 6.05 left. And they finally swing it outside to Katisha Hyman, the 5'8 junior from out of Chocolate in North Carolina. Her jump of 15 feet, no good. Bennett's got a rebound and lay it right back in. Chantel Bennett in double digits now with 11. And Bennett has six points here in this fourth quarter for the visiting Broncos. Here's Petaway in the middle of the press. She'll turn around and move to get rid of it and finally gets it in over to Gator. Gator hands it away to Lee. 540 left. Lee with a ball on the hip right at the midcourt strike. And this side to Williams, and she gives it back to Lee, now back to Williams. Joanne trying to figure out this 2 3 zone. Here's Petaway at the high post to Gator. She'll take up defender and travel three second violation all on Kilwan. And here's Bagby getting in the lineup for the first time in the second half. She'll replace Olivia Gaither, who's going to be met by Coach Latoya Jones as she comes to the bench to discuss what happened here on the near side. And Coach Jones and Gaither having a little spirited conversation. And Joan going to let Fayetteville State roll the ball at the front court. They're down 16. They need all the time they can get to the Broncos. We've got to travel that front here behind them. So another turnover for the Broncos here. First, Henderson quickly back for Petaway. 5.23 is when our clock's paused on. And it shows Chowan up in front, 58-42. And Williams going to come out, and Dusty Robinson will get in for the Hawks. As the Hawks will have Lee, Henderson, Coker, Bagby, and Weldon on the floor. I have to wonder how long Mariah Coker's going to sit here in this final fourth quarter. She had played most of the game tonight and finally got a break here early in this period. Here's Bagby with him on the left wing. Joanne has had a, done a good job getting him inside the well in the second half to get it to her here. And she was scoring a nice pass from Robinson. Nice move inside by the Glen Allen for Junior Senior. He's in double digits and he leads back to 18 now as we're inside of five minutes to go. There's a ball kicked out the far side to Bennett. She'll wheel inside. Wow, shot no good. Rebounded by Robinson. She'll flip it out near side to Lee. Hawks coming on the run. Here's Lee moving back to the middle of the court. Fable State hustles back to cut off the transition here for Chowan. Lee working on the left wing. Chowan's got Shaw in the building here on Saturday. It's a 2 o'clock tip for Chowan late. It's just a single game of men's action coming up here in this Saturday. Chowan men will be on the road at Winston's West Virginia State. 
High front, it comes to Henderson with five to shoot. Man to Robinson. Robinson turns, gets it inside the well, and again, and she scores. High low from Robinson. The well, and is just Eden Federal stayed up here in this fourth quarter. Sean's got a 20 point lead, man, with 4 12 left. It's been an outstanding second half by the Hawks. How about Hyman getting inside, and she'll force it up and draw the foul. That should get us to a media timeout here. Foul's going to be whistling on Weldon's going to be a fourth. So we'll shoot two free throws here by for Katisha Hyman. And Hyman's free throw is good. And a couple substitutions here for both teams. Joanne Williams will get in for Danielle Weldon. Also in the lineup is going to be Corinthia Lindsay for Fayetteville State. Also into the game for Fayetteville State, Amani Muhammad. As Muhammad will get in, Amani Muhammad, the 5'7 freshman out of Wilmington for the first time. Hyman's second free throw is arched up, and this one rims out. And another rebound to Joanne Williams, who has to be in double digits now in rebounding. 11 for Hyman, and I believe that's Joanne Williams' 10th rebound. Bagby breaks the double team. Back out to Lee right front inside of four minutes to go in this one. Showing late is look back there on the way to the sixth win of the season. And to go to 2-0 and in and CIAA play. Henderson trying to penetrate to Robinson at a high post. She threw it overhead and out of bounds to Joanne Williams. Robinson had the right idea, but had a little bit too much mustard on it. He was Ganey back in the lineup for, for Fayetteville State. Also in the lineup is going to be Kiara Page. To Coach Keen Coleman going to her bench. It was 340 and her team down 19. As Katisha Hyman, who's played most of the ball game here in the time for the game line is with Bennett with 11 pushes at front court. Inside, ball's knocked away by Joanne Williams for the turnover. Williams with another steal. Boy, Joanne Williams is such an active player on the floor. One of the, like I said earlier, one of the best rebounders in the CIAA. She's got 10 tonight to go along with a seven points. Lee maneuvers around the defense, pulls up from 15 feet, a little strong, no good. Joanne Williams with the offensive board in the first 30 seconds for the Hawks. And we near the three minute mark of this ball game. But all chilling, especially here in the second half. Lee gets it to Williams. Now back in the corner to Lee after getting it to Henderson. Off to Bagby. She'll spot up. Now she'll take it inside and lost the basketball, but recovered. Now caught the double team. Gets it to Lee inside to Robinson, and she'll lay it up at it. That's a great pass that time with Joe Lee. She is such an unselfish player. 64-43, 2.38 left. Charm with a 21-point lead. I don't think anybody saw this one coming. This, I think Charm was a favorite coming in, but I don't think anybody saw that 20-point advantage. Hyman with a three in the first three of the night. For Fayetteville State, and it comes with 2.23 left. That is just a tenth to me three-pointer this season here for Fayetteville State. There's a foul right front, and it's going to be Imani Bahamut on the foul on Bagby. It's going to be her first and the team second here for Fayetteville State. And more important, it gives Charn a fresh 30 seconds with 2.19 to go. Up, country up in front here at home by 18. Williams gets it on the inbounds. Joanne will bounce it away to Lee. Lee just holds it on her hip. And we'll walk against pressure right front from Muhammad, the freshman out of Wilmington. And we've got a whistle right front. We've got a checking foul coming against Muhammad. So two quick fouls here for Armani Muhammad, who prepped at New Hanover High School down in the Wilmington area. Coach Keen Coleman has played a lot of players tonight looking for that right combination. They'll have a tough one coming up on Saturday up at Virginia State. And this Virginia State has a good basketball team. Both men and women. Here's Henderson spinning, shooting, scoring. Henderson from 15 feet away right of the lane. And it's back to a 20-point advantage here for Torm with a buck 48 left. Ball inside to Page and is knocked away here and a foul coming underneath it. Latoya Jones is going to go down to a bench and she's going to get some Camilla Green in the lineup. And let's see if she gets some of the other reserves in the lineup. Here's Kiara Page at the line. Foul, by the way, occurred as Page misses the free throw. Joanne Williams. Joanne's going to insert Ariana Hopkins in the lineup, along with Kalena Green. And also coming to the line is going to be Sidney Neal. So everybody is dressed tonight, with the exception of one player, is going to 
playing. I think Ebony Green might be hurt. Maybe she's not going in the game. So we'll get to see some of the charm reserves for this final 146. Page's free throw is good. So Page was on the board tonight for their first point. And Charm's going to have maneuver front court to get full court pressure. And Lee splits the double team between Hewitt and, and Muhammad. She'll wheel around and dribble out some time here, about 35 to go. Charm up by 19. Here's Neal getting it inside, lost the basketball, and recovered by Muhammad. Going 12 turnovers here in the second half. That's 21 on the night. Hewitt goes inside. Ball knocked away. Bagged is going to chase it down for Chowan. I'd be on the arc. And she'll slow things up because she didn't have the numbers. Not enough white jerseys against the blue jerseys that time. And Bagley, the freshman out of Portland, was able to recognize it. She played at the same high school as a former Chowan outstanding player, Jordan Payne, a few years ago. Here's Bagley still working to get Mohammed. Lost the basketball, taken away by Page on the turnover. Here's Page with just inside a minute to go Hyman to the rack, and she charges. And is that Jada Lee on the floor drawing the charge? Yes, it is. It doesn't surprise me in the, at all that she's able to draw it. Hyman is foul number two in the fourth team foul here in this fourth quarter. It's been all Hawks here in this one. And they've held the Broncos is 18 points in the second half. we got a foul in the backcourt. And the third foul is going to be whistled here on Muhammad. And it's going to get Ariana Hopkins at the line. Freshman from Raleigh, North Carolina, looking her for a first point as a show line player. And she can't get it. But she'll have a second free throw coming with 48 seconds left. Showline's going to make another substitution here. And it's going to get Brianna Copeland in the lineup. Free throws on its way, and it's no good here by Hopkins. And Bagby will come out, and the replace will be Brianna Copeland. So Chowan has in played everybody that dressed tonight. And they had the basketball with 47 seconds to go underneath their own bucket. In the corner is the jump. The three is good. Here for Brianna Copeland. He just came in the lineup. And the Chowan thing, Chowan players are happy for the freshman. And she just can the first points. How about and how about the first time you ever score is a three-pointer? And Hopkins, who's just from down the or Copeland, who's just down the road from Suffolk, Virginia, scores. As Fairville State will roll the basketball in and finally they'll pick it up. Here's Hyman with the basketball, whips it over to Ganey. Ganey penetrating, lost it, tie up between her and Neal. And Neal, who saw a lot of time last year, but it seems a limited time this year, just snatch it away from Ganey. Jump ball has it back to Chowan. With 39 seconds left, Fairville State still pressing in the backcourt, down 22. But a pretty solid night here for Chowan women. They have played exceptionally well, as they have four players in double figures. This one has been one of the best efforts of the season. Here's Copeland getting ready to the lead. Jada trying to play with the... The younger players out front, we've got a foul out front against Hyman. It's going to be her third. And Jada Lee is going to walk to the line and shoot two free throws. Well, Coker's not hurt. We haven't seen her in this fourth quarter. Showing has it missed. They haven't skipped a beat with their point guard out of the lineup. And Lee's got the free throw. Eight tonight for Lee. He's also got five assists and four rebounds and three steals to go along with our night sack. And she makes both free throws here. And Devil State stepped inbounds on the inbounds. When it's going bad, it's going bad. And that's the way it's been tonight for the Wilsons here might have Fayetteville State. 71-47. Join basketball with a shot clock cut off with 23.5 seconds to go. Inside, it comes to... Green, she'll loop it up and get fouled. Green just was determined she was going to get it up, and foul's going to be whistled underneath on Corinthia Lindsay. Once again, we'll take a 20-minute break after this and come back and bring you some men's basketball. Join men at 7-0. and They'll get a 1-5 dangerous federal state team in here tonight. Green's free throw is good. She's got her first point in the hall. So Green is knocks it in. First time we'd seen her tonight, the transfer from out of Winthrop. 
And second one's off the front of the iron. No good. She'll chase down her own rebound. High front it comes to Lee with 14 seconds to go. Hyman trying to steal it away from the senior from Virginia Beach. Puts on a little dribbling show right front. Now Copeland's got it on the right wing. As they bounce away the final four seconds of this one. Jordan's going to go to six and four. And two and in replay. Silver State's going to drop to three and four. And oh and one. We'll take a break. Come out and give you the final numbers from this one. And get you ready for men's basketball. As the Jordan ladies win our opener in big fashion here tonight. 72 to 47. You're listening to it on GoCUHawks.com. Too fast to prepare for this. Tripping in the world could be dangerous. Everybody circling his vultures. Negative, nepotist. Everybody waiting for the fall of man. Everybody praying for the end of times. Everybody hoping they could be the one. I was born to run. I was born for this. Ladies, when I over tonight, 72 to 47. Let's look at the final numbers from this one. Uh, Chowan tonight, 27 of 62 from the field for 43.5 percent. It was seven of six beyond the arc for. Uh, if you look at the three-point field goal shooting tonight, 43.8. Fayetteville State just struggled tonight from the field, shooting 30.4 percent from the game. Uh, just, just having a tough time getting it in the basket on 17 of 56. They won one of nine behind the arc. On the boys, Chowan with a big edge slam by Joanne Williams. 11 rebounds, 50 to 32. But I like Chowan, nearly half of their ball of rebounds tonight on the offensive glass. He had 22 offensive boys tonight. Both teams turned the ball over at a pretty good rate tonight. Uh, Fairville State with 23 turnovers, Chowan with uh, 22. Let's look at the point totals tonight. Well, first for the Hawks. As they were led tonight by Daniel Weldon with 15, 13 for Jordan Petaway, which is a career high. Olivia Gable with 11, 9 for Joda Lee, 8 for Mariah Coker, 7 for Joanne Williams, 3 for Brianna Copeland, uh, 2 each for Destiny Robinson, Kayla Henderson, and 1 for Tiarana Green. And Ariana Hopkins saw action along with Sidney Neal but did not score. Also tonight for Fayetteville State leading the way was Katisha Hyman with 14 points, 11 for Chantel Bennett, 7 for Brittany Drumgoole, 5 for Yakima Clifton, and uh, 4 for De'Ara Hewitt. Jenna Beaman and a 2, and Amanada Johnson had 3, and Kara Page had 1. That's going to wrap up our broadcast in the first half of this one. We'll take about a 20-minute break, play a little music, come back and get you ready for the Fable State and show on men. Show on ladies open tonight with a big one here as they win it here over Fable State Broncos, 72-47. to carry me There's nothing that's there for me at my door All the people I know on who they used to be And if I try to change my life for more day There would be nobody else to save And I can't change into a person I don't want to be So, oh, it's Saturday night yeah. 